In this video, we're going to do an example that gives us a little bit of practice to think about what does it mean to divide by a fraction. So if we want to figure out what 8 divided by 7 fifths is. But we're going to break it down into two steps. First of all, we're going to use these visuals here to think about how many groups of 7 fifths are in 1. Or another way of thinking about it is how many 7 fifths are in a whole. So pause this video and just think about this first part. All right. So let's look at 7 fifths. 7 fifths is everything from here all the way to there. And then 1 is this. So how many 7 fifths are in 1? Well, you can see that 1, which is the same thing as 5 fifths, is less than 7 fifths. So it's actually going to be a fraction of a 7 fifth that is 1, or that is in 1. And you can see what that fraction is. 1 is what fraction of 7 fifths? Well, if you look at the fifths, 7 fifths is, of course, 7 of them. And a whole is 5 fifths. So 5 of the 7 fifths make a whole. So the answer right over here is 5 sevenths. 5 sevenths of a 7 fifths is equal to 1. You can also see this right over here. If you take each of these to be a fifth, each of these to be a fifth, then this whole bar is equal to 7 fifths, and the blue part is equal to 1. So how many 7 fifths are in the blue part? Well, we can see it's 5 sevenths of the whole bar. Once again, 5 sevenths of the whole bar. So we can also think about this as 1 divided by 7 fifths. This is another way of saying, how many 7 fifths are in 1, or how many groups of 7 fifths are in 1. And this is equal to 5 sevenths, which we've learned in other videos is the reciprocal of 7 fifths. The numerator and the denominator are, is swapped. So now, what is 8 divided by 7 fifths going to be? Well, if 1 divided by 7 fifths is 5 sevenths, or if you have 5 sevenths of a 7 fifth of a 7 fifths in 1, I know the world language gets a little bit confusing, well, you're going to have 8 times that many in 8. So this is going to be the same thing as 8 times, we could do it this way, 8 times 1 divided by 7 fifths. Or you could just view this as 8 times the reciprocal of 7 fifths, which is 5 over 7. And we've learned how to multiply this before. 8 times 5 sevenths is going to be equal to 40 sevenths. And we're done. You could obviously also write that as a mixed number if you like. This would be the same thing as 5 and 5 sevenths. So the big picture is when we think about how many of a fraction are in 1, that's the same thing as saying what's 1 divided by that fraction. As you see visually here, you essentially get the reciprocal of that fraction. And so if you take any other number other than 1 divided by that fraction, you're essentially just going to multiply it by that reciprocal because it's that number times 1. So when you divide by that fraction, it's that number times the reciprocal. 